you don't know me, I'm Maddie, Simi's younger sister, and I'd like to extend a warm welcome to those here, the Ostroms and the Sharps, and to their friends and family watching the ceremony virtually. Thank you for joining us on this characteristically beautiful winter afternoon in San Diego. I can hardly imagine a more picturesque wedding venue than here at Sunset Cliffs, with red sand beneath our converse, <laughs> hey, um, and overlooking the Pacific Ocean. But this ceremony probably isn't what Simi and Josh originally envisioned. As a child, Simi hoped for a barn-themed wedding, given her love of horses, <laughs> with her handcrafted wooden benches and tables adding to the rustic sheet five, whereas Josh probably would have settled for exchanging vows on the 50-yard line at the Cornhuskers <laughs> Memorial Stadium. I think we can all agree that COVID has upended even the best-laid plans, altered the very fabric of life for all of us here today, and introduced uncertainty where previously we had found stability. However, one thing that has remained both certain and stable over the past seven years is the love, respect, and commitment that Josh and Simi hold for one another. They met during a fateful evening as grad students at Northwestern University. Here were two young, good-looking, athletic, smart, fun, sexy, <laughs> physical therapy doctoral candidates whose world collided in downtown Chicago. They moved out west three years later and, in true adult fashion, purchased a home in Claremont, renovating tirelessly over the last couple years. They planned to settle down here in San Diego, raise a family here, and grow roots that extend across generations, perhaps sending their children to the same schools and sports leagues that Simi, her older brother Kramer, and I had the pleasure of learning and growing from. California is home to us sharp siblings, whereas Josh grew up in Fremont, Nebraska. His love for sports was clear from a young age, playing catch with his dad in their backyard pro before progressing to youth baseball leagues at the ripe age of four. He had excelled at baseball and basketball in high school and became captain of the varsity baseball team at Nebraska Wesleyan University, where he was academic All-American and graduated with honors. Based on his LinkedIn profile, <laughs> his true calling may be head baseball coach, a skill that will undoubtedly come in handy during little league practice after Simi and Josh produce the next batch of San Diego's elite athletes. Now a physical therapist specializing in sports injuries, Josh has found a steady patient population in the Sharp family. I've already asked him about my squatting form and running gait on more than one occasion, and I'm sure I'm not the only offender. Josh's parents, who now live in Oregon, instilled in Josh the qualities that Simi realized she could not live without. I saw these qualities firsthand on a cross-country road trip a few years ago. A friend and I drove from San Diego to Boston and stayed a night with Josh and his parents in Omaha. They made us a delicious home-cooked meal and gave us a warm place to rest our heads. A welcome respite from the endless Subway sandwiches and gas station snacks we had endured. It was clear then, and had become more, only more apparent with time, that Josh Buck's the only child stereotype. He's thoughtful, kind, generous, and funny. Josh truly embodies the best of Midwestern values. Respect for hard work, friendliness, and focus on friends, family, and good food. In fact, his renowned meat-smoking skills are second only to his deep sense of loyalty. Speaking of which, his love for Simi is nearly eclipsed by his love of doing dishes after a hearty meal. Though he may not be a native San Diegan, Josh has become a true Californian at heart. You can find him sure. Not to mention his favorite circuit spot. You're actually thrilled that you're going there. Yeah, and then there's Simi. <laughs> Where do I begin? Let me be friends with our really good friends. I deeply admire her. I was always on my high school, I was a sister, and she needed me neither as a mother nor a 
Life used to be just about you, but now you feel your center of gravity expanding. Zimzum is where you create space for another person to thrive in your life while they're doing the same thing for you. Marriage is that space between you. The space has an energy. It has a flow to it. It's almost like an electrical field. The most fulfilling times of your relationship is when this flow is buzzing. There's an energy to it. The space between you is incredibly responsive. It's dynamic. It's always changing. It's exclusive. It exists only between the two of you. It's sacred. There's this thing happening between the two of you, but it's way bigger than just the two of you. It connects the creative energies between the two of you, creating a life together, to the creative energies that <laughs> unleashed the universe. When marriage is really healthy and the energy is flowing, it's in the same key as the song of the universe. It's hard to express what this thing is that you share with someone that so profoundly moves you and at the same time has the potential to be 
devastating. For so many people, marriage is a weight. It's a burden. But there's a fundamentally different way of viewing it. You see marriage in terms of the two of us are exploring things together. Like it's a big, wide, beautiful, mysterious, heartbreaking, and generous world. And we get to explore it together. Josh and Simi, please share your vows with each other. The September night in Chicago, seven years ago, I have a vivid memory after uh, we shared a date at Rockwood Place. I remember walking down Clark Street and I said out loud to myself, uh oh, I think I really like this girl. <laughs> I never thought I'd like a girl from California. But that day, I had a feeling that this could be the start of something really special. What an understatement that was. I can't believe how fun the last seven years have been. Now, I love living in California with you. <laughs> I love coming home from work and doing nothing with you. I love going on a trip and doing everything. I love the, I love the beautiful home. <laughs> I don't think I was going to do this. I love the beautiful home that you and your family have created for us. I love your relentless desire to improve, your drive to create. I love that you pay attention to Simi? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ooh, those are going to be tough to follow. Okay. If you would have told me eight years ago that I would one day be marrying a man from Nebraska <laughs> who I met in my PT school class, I would have said, no way. <laughs> because for one, I can't even point Nebraska out on a map. And two, my only rule for PT school is to not date anyone from my class. And yet here we stand, a California girl who learned where Nebraska is, and a man from that very state who I've grown to love more and more every day. Despite our relationship beginning by breaking my only self-imposed rule for grad school, I'm so thankful for the life we have created. I'm thankful for you being the calming yin to my overly worried yang. You're there to remind me not to worry about things I can't control, but are understanding when I completely ignore that sound logic. I'm thankful for your passion for things you love in life. 
I see it shine through every Saturday in the fall when you wake up at 5.45 a.m. so you don't miss a second of college game day. And I see it shine through during our travels as you make us stop so you can go admire any baseball stadium we pass, standing and staring at the architecture through the chain link fences. I'm thankful for you being my favorite road trip partner because we can always make the best of every situation despite what's thrown in our way, like some navigational challenges. <laughs> I'm thankful for your mind and the company it provides as proven on said road trips when we realize we haven't listened to music or podcasts or anything for eight hours because we'd have been enjoying each other's company too much. I'm thankful that you are open and adventurous. As a self-proclaimed come-along guy, you dove right into your new life in San Diego and have since truly embraced the SoCal lifestyle represented by your endless Viore wardrobe. I'm thankful for your silliness and getting a front row seat to you dancing across our living room during our lazy Sunday mornings. I promise to continue to be the yang to your yin and support you in your endeavors and whatever life throws our way. I'm thrilled to marry you and start our next chapter together. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> All right. Um, so now it's time for the rings. So these rings, uh, which are never ending circles, represent your love for each other, the promises made today, and the lifelong bond you are creating. These rings will encircle your fingers, just as your respect and love for one another will encircle your marriage. Josh, repeat after me. With this ring, I give you a promise of my unconditional love forever. With this ring, I give you a promise of my unconditional love forever. Um, Simi, repeat after me. With this ring, I give you a promise of my unconditional love forever. With this ring, I give you a promise of my unconditional love forever. <laughs> <laughs> Will you promise to care for each other and the joys and sorrows of life, come what may, and to share the responsibility for growth and enrichment of your life together? And so now, by the power vested in me by the state of California, it is my honor to declare you husband and wife. You may seal this marriage with a kiss. <laughs> Woo! Congratulations! <laughs> Friends and family, I now present you to the newly married couple. Woo! <laughs> Everybody. Hi everyone. <laughs> Thanks for watching. watching. We miss you all. We wish you could be here. Love you guys. Hey guys. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, hope to see you soon and celebrate with everybody yep. at some point. Love you guys. Thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. <laughs> Good job.
big push. And then I go down, up, up. Oh, here's my baby. Oh, like this little peanut. Oh, and I like wipe the baby and make her cry. And then the mom is always like, and then I'm like, oh, and I put a baby in the mouth. <laughs> oh, is it happening right now? Oh. Is it streaming? Oh, hi. Oh, boom.